Hey, Uncle from TacticalGamer.com. This uh, quick little uh, mission editing tutorial for Arma 3 is about adding um, mission parameters to control different things for your mission. Uh, in this case, I want to control what time of day uh, players can select, what time of day they want to play the mission in, and how long the warm up timer for my sector control mission is. So let's open this up in Notepad. And down here, I've got class params, which stands for parameters. I've got two items. One is time of mission, and this name is important because this is how we're going to use other scripts or triggers to find out what the time of the mission uh, is set for, what time of day I could have said. Okay, basically, title is what shows up. So time of day will show up as one of the selectable, changeable items within the mission parameters. Uh, the values that it could be are 3, 5, 9, 14. Basically all I'm doing is I've set the time of the mission to be 12 midnight or 0, 100 hours. And all I'm going to do is um, use the scripting command script time to basically add 3 hours onto the mission for, for it to be 3 a.m five hours on the mission for it to be 5 a.m., right? Uh, 17 hours onto the mission for it to be 5 p.m., that's it. Okay, the text are what shows up, the values are what's actually going to be passed by the time of mission parameter. All right, the default selection is five, so 5 a.m. Another one I set up to be warm-up timer. So the title is basically just warm-up timer and I'm going to change this now after playing it a few times. I had uh, either no warm up timer at all, or that you could have a two minute warm up timer, which is really short. I think I'm going to make it three minutes. So if I add 60 seconds to 120, I get 180. All right, so I'm going to say change this to be three minutes. And five minutes, then let's make it, let's make it. Uh, six minutes so that would be what 360 right so I'll make this parameter six minutes there we go default would be my 180 which is three minutes there we go we can save that up okay let's go to the mission oh wait yes how do I do this in the scripts so you saw my warm-up script perhaps from the other mission okay and in the server part in that spawn section where I'm going to say warm up value is equal to uh, this warm up timer, which was the name I used in the description.ext for the class of the parameter, and then call this function get param value. So basically, I'm just asking what value did they select when they were in the mission parameters. If the default was 180 seconds, then warm up value is going to equal 180. And basically, this now says wait until time is greater than warm-up value. So on the server, it's going to say, okay, well, when time is greater than 180 seconds, then stop the warm-up timer and continue with the mission. Uh, another way we could use this would be for the time of day. And I use that in the init server.sqf. So uh, the init server.sqf file is one of these file names that if you put a file in your mission, and just name it init server.sqf, it means that the server is automatically going to run it. So when I edit that, I've got some Task Force Radio stuff that I don't need. Um, but here is the section where I added to it set the time of day as per mission parameters. So again, time of mission, call function get param value. So it's asking what was the time of mission? was the value of the class time of mission as set by the mission parameters store it in time of day and then just the scripting command skip time time of day and we just add four hours or five hours onto the mission for it to be 5 a.m. simple enough and uh, let's see it in game so in game there's nothing to see in the editor uh, I select my mission and I can set my time of day let's say it's 10 p.m. so then it's going to add um, 10 hours onto midnight so that it's 10 p.m. and skip time 
is set by the server. So it only needs to be run on the server. And then when all the clients connect to it, they will automatically be updated to be in sync with the time that the server is running on the simulation. So warm up timer, let's set that to no warm up. Go back and I hit my mission. Now I want to hit OK. So this is where I'm going to have a little bit of bug with my system I'd set up. I should get a little pop-up here that says in side chat that you know do not leave your base until notified right but we're going to get the notification pretty much right away do not leave your base until notified you may leave your base game is on there we go actually worked out pretty well now I get the do not leave base till notified ah, okay so that's kind of fun all right and it is 10 p.m. I go to my mission yeah it's now 2200 Everything's working. Okay, Uncle from TacticalGamer.com. Create some uh, variable parameters for your missions. Catch you in game.